Let's take a look at the AquaGlide Noyo 90 inflatable kayak. I think if you want to get out for a good price on the lake without breaking the bank, get fishing, exploring, this might be a good option for you. And we're going to start inflating the kayak, kind of guiding you through what it looks like to pump it up. The cool thing about the electric pumps is it fills it up exactly where it needs to be. That really matters on an inflatable kayak. If you inflate it too much or not enough, it could pull a little bit too far to the left or right. So it's a nice advantage of using the electric pumps. It takes one minute each side. Calculated that up. So you basically could set this up in definitely under five minutes without rushing. I'd say realistically, without rushing, you could probably do four minutes to four minutes and 30 seconds. Now, let's look at the seat. Snaps on really well, very strong. Flexible. And it breathes really well. Not a lot of padding, but uh, definitely wicks away a lot of the sweat and moisture. Um, I use this when I'm definitely out there paddling fast, so I like that. It's got a lot of cushion. This is definitely more of the sports mode. Like I said, I'm, I'm moving around the lake a lot when I'm uh, using this kayak. So I don't really need necessarily a big back seat. It snaps on the sides really well. You can adjust it. I'll say this, if you're six feet or taller, it's going to be kind of cramped in there for you. I'm 5'9 and a buck 45. Not a big guy. And I'm definitely, I'm, I'm not sandwiched in there, but it's snug. So if you're any bigger than that, or if you've got big hips, it's, it's going to be really snug for you. I mean, you can see I've got a decent amount of foot room. I don't feel cramped for my size whatsoever. Um, if I had shoes on, I do feel a little cramped. So like I said, once you start getting a taller than 5'9", I'd say this is going to really start uh, becoming a little cramped in there. But with my shoes off, my preferred way, or maybe with some aqua shoes, plenty of space in there. You can see from my hips, I'm, there's definitely no room. And it's snug. So again, if you're thick-hipped, might not be the best option. This is an inflatable tube that goes around and some trash I've put in there apparently because I didn't want to litter in the lake. The bottom is very tough. Good for feet. Um, you actually would like this material better than something that would be rubbery, that would be catching like your leg. And So I actually like that bottom. This back part you can use to inflate the tube around it. I just blow it up with my mouth. I don't use the pump and it gets it to a nice cushiony level. I'm going to dead eye the camera when I do this. Yeah, so I don't use the pump with that. And you can see that it provides a nice uh, layer of cushion. Now, when I get in, just drop in, just drop in. You can get in real quick. I like to put my fishing pole on the side of it. You could carry uh, a spare oar if you wanted to instead. But you got to make sure you put the fishing pole on the right side. Otherwise, the reel little crank goes into the water and I'll just crank around the lake, man, with that on the side, no problems. Connect it up at the top and you can put the Velcro on just a little bit. So if you need to pull off the pole real fast, you can kind of do that, not fasten it down really hard. And you can see it's, it's fastened on the boat real well. You know, this isn't a fishing boat, but you can absolutely go fishing with it. And you say, what about the paddle though dingus well here we go the paddle just put that on the side there you go no complaints tough rigid if you hit any rocks or anything it's going to be very durable It'll take a lot to puncture something like this uh, the bottom has a skid plate which is really nice an incredibly durable fin i think there's a different name for a fin but Lock it in real easy, go in from the top and then put in the bottom. Remember that top bottom, put the pin in, you're good to go. And it's got a little bit of flexibility on the fin, which is really nice. Uh, a rigid boat, when you hit things, stuff breaks off. But on inflatables, when you hit stuff or you bottom out, it flexes more. So 
I also like that you can set it down with the fin on and it, it doesn't mess up the boat or anything. You could definitely carry some luggage in the back. Uh, a 20 liter bag is perfect. You can get 20 liter bags that you can carry around like your back. You can get ones that are like a backpack. And it just goes perfectly with the fronts of bungee straps, which are actually really high quality. They're thick, if you notice. They're not really cheap and thin like a lot of bungee straps are. So yeah, 20 liters, and that's filled with a uh, sleeping bag in there to kind of fill it up. You can see it's just a really good size. I often take that six liter bag and put it behind me. Actually quite a bit of storage space behind the seat. And this is kind of what it looks like once I've got it going. I'll put my um, drinking water bladder back behind there. You can see the water bladder coming around the side. And again, it is rugged and tough, especially around the colored hex shell. I think they what they call it. Just really, really, really tough. You can feel safe in this thing. It's got a number of different carrying points. Now, I just set a stopwatch, and we're gonna play this in real time because we're gonna we're gonna put this thing in the bag in less than two minutes. So I was like. There's no way I can cut this. We got to play this in real time. I'm somebody that when I get to the lake, I really like to set up quick and get out. Um, sometimes I'm social, but I'm mostly antisocial. So when people start coming over on like the other boats, oh, what's what's what you doing today? And you know, you know, sometimes I just want to get out. They're nice people, but I'm very thankful that this blows down so quickly. People say, oh, you gotta suck the air out with the pump. No, you don't. You can, you can waste time doing that. You can spend more time sucking the air out of the pump if you want, or you can suck the air out with the pump to get more space in your bag, but you don't need to do it. And I found sucking the air out with the pump only adds another step in more time. And as you'll see here, I absolutely didn't need to suck the air out of the pump. I get that comment a lot. Gotta oh, suck the air out of the pump, dumbass. Um, and you really, you don't. You really don't. I tested it out, and when you suck out the air out of the pump, it does just take more time. So I love being able to get in the lake quick and out of the lake quick. I mean, set up and take down in like eight minutes, was it? Let's say four minute setup. No, like under seven minutes. Look at that, done. Boom, boom, one minute, 40 seconds. That's pretty crazy. Now I've taken this fishing a number of times without the seat. I like to sit on the side and I like it. I recommend it. I think if you purchased it, you would like it too. Uh, just beware it does not come with a paddle and it does not come with a pump, but it definitely does get my seal of approval. You will not regret your purchase. Thank you for watching, and you can check it out in the links below. See you in the next video.